This is a narration of a project to build a 35 millimeter lens adapter. Uh, I had an old Pentax camera sitting around a couple lenses for it. It had the K mount, so the first thing I did was take the K mount off the uh, camera and mount it to a piece of board. And I wanted the lenses to be able to hold, so I rigged up a thing that there's a little pin that the engages the lenses, and it needed a little spring behind it. Then I had to find a CD motor, and I scavenged it out of an old uh, boom box. I found a, a uh, Ray Charles CD stuck in there. I got it uh, extracted and mounted it on board, as per the instructions from Media Chance. Um, and uh, thanks to Media Chance for this design. And uh, they say that you need a helper, uh, Media Chance instructions. So I roused my son, Ben, to help me out. Actually. I really didn't need his help at that point. I'd assembled the box, but I did need someone to show it off to. So uh, I've assembled the box and and I uh, have the battery on the outside and a little switch on the top. There's the 50 millimeter lens uh, mount on the front of it and the HV30 camera mounted upside down. You can see the screen a little bit and uh, you can see the uh, lion. I had to use Ben's stuffed lion as a subject. And um, first I took a little video oh here's the uh, I, I tried out the, the zoom lens to make sure the came out worked and it worked fairly well uh, that, that's a lot darker image with the uh, f4 versus the 50 millimeter which I think is a f2 lens so I had to light anything I shot with that lens uh, so I first took a little video here of the HV 30 without the lens adapter so you can see the high resolution and then I took a shot with the lens adapter using the 50 millimeter lens, a kind of a close up on the uh, line, a little bit of the depth of field. You can see with the piano there. Then I decided I would pull out the old acting skills and pretend like I didn't realize. Of course, there I am flashing the camera. Here's a little shot. You can see it's kind of wide angled. I don't have to have a close up lens, I just zoomed in enough. Uh, but you can see the CD, the edge of the CD there curve so that's the if I zoom out the uh, HP 30 but but um, here I think I have the 80 millimeter uh, the, the zoom lens on there and uh, I decided to show what happens when you turn the CD off so here's an image and I've just turned the CD off and you can see it slowly coming to uh, a halt there and then when it eventually stops you can see how much grain I, I made my own ground glass by taking a plastic CD I couldn't find the elusive uh, frosted CD from Maxwell I took the lens off so you can kind of see the uh, ground glass kind of scratched up. And thanks very much to Roman Bosca. And I uh, hope that's helpful.